Well, we've done it. We got the ma we got all the major powers around here. Now the main thing is, do I want to go straight there and continue on towards what he wants me to do and go get the next thing, or do I want to go on a fun little adventure? That's the that's not that's not that's not where the map is. That's not where the map is. That's that's where the map is. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure. I got that stamp that I placed for the other skull that I never took out. Was there other skulls around here? I think it's just the two, right? Yeah, they're pretty much they're pretty visible from orbit. I mean, yeah, I'm curious. There's that there's that skull there. There's another one up here that I marked with with a skull icon to make it stand out. There's a little tree here that looks special. There's a whole forest I haven't even been to yet. I kind of want to go through there, and we'll we'll so let's, let's weave our way around, check out this other chunk of this continent plateau area before we go down and get to the Temple of Time, which is clearly where he wants me to go next, because he said the cross between the two lines, and that's clearly the Temple of Time. That's pretty unambiguous. Let's just be real careful, and don't go plummeting to our deaths. If we can avoid it, I mean. Careful. Oh well. Whee! <laughs> that moment of panic where you think you might have made a mistake. This is just a joy to wander around in. I think the only... My only minor thing is I just kind of wish that maybe Zelda and, uh... And Horizon Zero Dawn didn't come out, like, a few days apart from each other. Just due to their similarities of being a big open-world game where you wander around and scavenge and, you know, complete tasks while wandering around and fighting monsters and whatnot. They're not the, they're not the same game or anything like that, but... There are similarities enough that they would be probably a little bit more appreciated if they were spread out a little bit more. That's not how you do that. Alright. My bad. Well, yes, I am briefly forgetting how to do this. There we go. Hopefully this will work out. Oh, it doesn't fit. Huh. Frustrating. How about over here? Or I could just totally goof it. Uh, how much do we trust my ability to make this jump? Hit. Zero percent. The answer is zero percent. I'm dead. Damn it. <laughs> so I tried to hit the A button to sprint, but also was pushing, I was putting my thumb on the A button and my, my, uh, my index finger on the Y, on the X button. Crap, no, I was pressing my thumb on the B button and my index finger on the X button. Bottom and top button, sprint and jump. So I could make the move to do this, followed by that, to make the jump. And uh, there was a minor miscommunication because my thumb immediately got stuck on the joystick that is practically touching the B button. My hands are too big for this controller. <laughs> I look forward to hopefully rectifying this as soon as possible, but I have no idea when it's going to be possible to get a pro controller. Every now and then people will say, I found a pro controller over here, and I'm like, that's that's not that's not near me. <laughs> Even if it's in California, it's usually like six to eight hours away. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not within the realm of reason unless I want to cancel like 12 episodes across my channel for the sake of a one trip for a controller and hope things work out. Nope, for now I got to bear with it. Here we go. Let's try to do better now. Okay. Running jump. Crap. Get up. Get up. We're okay. No. Yeah. Huh. Am I doing something wrong? Is this one of those games that has run for a, as a toggle, or was that a different game I'm playing? Now I'm double check. Now I'm double. I'm second guessing things. Let's check the options. No, there's no toggle run. That, I'm thinking of a different game, aren't I? Yeah, unfortunately, the top button and bottom buttons aren't may, are perhaps not the best things to map run and jump to. When you're also trying to aim, you're trying to align with the right stick in the right direction with the camera, then move in the right direction with the left stick while doing this. 
Huh. I understand, by the way, there's, there's got to be another way to do this. But now that I've tried, to, now that I've started trying to do it, now I want to do it. Because, <laughs> damn it, I'm going to solve this problem. Let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That would have been bad. This whole thing would work better if I could just put that over there. Oh, that's what I should do. Ignore that entire situation. Use this guy. There's a door over here. This is what's intended. I just I saw the water and looked for a different solution. But now we adapt. That looks like a nightmare. Let's go for it. Whee! I didn't die. Alright, didn't fall in the water. Look at those. Did they wake up? No. They do not. Okay, let's go check out the tree. But I also might want to grab that and take it with me over to the other dock. That's all screwed up looking. Ooh. Look at you guys. You claiming this for your this place for yourself? Interesting. They're not really looking around. Oh, there's a blue one. That should be worried about. That blue one could be dangerous. Oh, he saw me. Shit. Well, no. That's not good. If I hang out down here, they can't come after me. What I mean, what I mean is they can't uh, they can't sh throw stuff at me or whatever. Do they come down? Huh. I really thought they'd come down. Can I make can I make this climb at this angle? Yep, actually. Oh, they're trying to get me though. Wow. Link has some surprising climbing capabilities if he can cling to this. They're gonna hit me though. Come on down, guys. Come and get it. Uh, let's uh cancel that. I don't really want to throw that. I don't think I can throw bombs up there very accurately, can I? I could try. I, th I think he just throws it forward, though. That's I mixed it up again. Oh, my butt, my face, my poor face. Okay, fine. Let's do this then. There you go. Now how you guys feeling, huh? Oh, I broke my bow. Awkward. No, how do I change my bow from this menu? Crap. How do I change my bow? That's all the directions. Do I hold my trigger? There it is. Yeah, I have to be holding trigger first. And then you hold down right on the D-pad and trigger at the same time, then scroll through these. The quick menu. Pain time! I probably shouldn't be doing this, though. Which one is it? Crap. Left on the D-pad. There we go. Just regular arrows. There's the rock coming my way. Got him in the face! There you go. Much more ideal. Two down. Now it's just that, that dude up there. Hi there. You wanna come down here? That. Ah. I'm really surprised they won't come down here at all. Are they concerned about fall damage? Come on. There we go. I don't know if fall damage applies to them or not. I found the one post that I can't climb up, apparently. How did they get up there? Oh, maybe you can climb the tree in certain spots and you'd fit through the hole or something? Maybe not. It feels like there should be a rope ladder around here or something. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, this one spot really worked out for me earlier. Aside from the part where everyone was trying to stab me. That part I wasn't so cool on. Come on, it worked last time. What? Oh, here it comes. Apparently. Hi. What was keeping you? You alright? You alright? Sorry about that. I didn't mean it. I totally meant it. Bad time for you. Ooh, there he goes. 
mine soldier's broadsword. A sword brandished by the soldiers who once protected Hyrule Castle. Its durable blade is well-tuned for slaying monsters. Ooh, it's actually a good weapon. And he's dead. The end. Spiked Boko Shield. Those are worth holding on to. How do I quick drop? Can I quick drop? I don't think I can, unfortunately. I think I have to go into this menu. There's a crappy one. Bing. The question is, how do I get up there? Here? Yeah, there's a chest up there. That signifies I'd want to go up there. Okay, let's talk. Let's use the solution I talked about a moment ago. Then maybe I'm not supposed to. It's weird. Maybe I'm not supposed to climb up there. The main reason I'm trying so hard is because uh, it seemed like it did work at first, but then it seemed to stop working. So I'm not sure what's what's up with that. Because the first time I tried climbing up, I climbed up there, but it almost. It almost seemed unintentional because the way that I was kind of weirdly floating. Like I was clinging to the side of the wall and it didn't really seem like that was supposed to be happening. Oh, is that a bridge? I bet I could put I bet I could have lowered that. In fact I still may need to. Maybe not. I bet you you can shoot that down or something. Let's try this though, because I just put it up here. Ta-da! I love that that works. That doesn't work. Hey there. What do you got? Amber! Add that to the collection. And arrows! A relatively minor amount of them, but still. Oh well, I wiped out the encampment. Even may not have had a reason to, but I did. I feel like the tree has to have something in it, right? I would expect it to have some kind of, uh... Oh, maybe if I climb up there, I can, I can cut that down? Maybe it has that one guy that gives me seeds. Let's see if I can shoot the... Shoot these. Let's try with fire. Okay. I may have not needed fire for that. Nope. So there's that. What's this, just a stick? Yeah, it's just a Boko Spear. So that's how I was supposed to get this. I just didn't see the ramp. Oops. Trying to cut down the tree. Let's climb on up and see if I find something. Oh, careful. Careful now. You wouldn't want to have an accident. Alright. That's about as high as you can get up here. It's hard to tell. It's really... Oh! Okay, we're fine. No fall damage. I think you have to fall a lot further. Yeah, unless I'm missing something, I don't see anything in the tree to interact with. I think that's it. What if you're supposed to burn this weird sash? That seems unlikely. That seems more like it's just, uh, here because they were here. Huh. Now I just kind of feel bad. Hey, guys. Mine. Sunset Firefly. These fireflies, uh, fireflies uh, glow gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. What? Why? Weird. Alright. I just... I'm not sure if I see why something that makes you glow would be good for stealth. Makes, they say it makes you move more quietly, not glow, but the fact that the... It's, it's, it's weird to, con to mix a glowing component with something else to make yourself quiet and stealthy. Hi. Nice to see you're doing alright. I'm gonna avoid you, though. Curious about you. You're bound to have something up there, right? I guess I have to fight you guys before you become a problem. Because they could throw rocks at me. Alright. Let's see if I can reasonably get to the top. Is there... Oh, right. Crafting items. Don't want to forget those. Believe in me! Oh. It's super risky to jump like that. Do I have any food that restores stamina at the moment? I mean, I have the stamina foods. 
cook to release its na natural stamina restoration properties. I'm getting some of those, aren't I? Wait, don't I have a stamina? I made something, right? Energizing honeyed apple. I only have one, though. Is that, is that... That might cut it. I shouldn't have hit the jump button is the main thing. That kills my stamina faster than I need it to. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna eat that now. Where was it? Oh, food. Yum, 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 yum. Don't fall. <laughs> I think... I don't know. Don't know if jumping was a mistake or if it was useful. I don't know if you go faster... I don't know which one's more stamina efficient. Jumping's probably fast... Jumping's faster, so it's probably less stamina efficient. Otherwise, there, there'd be no reason never not to use it. What's up here? Really? 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 What? Oh. Dang it. It's a stone thing, so I figured at least I could hit it with stasis and stop time and hit it and make it go sailing off into space out of my, you know, just to satisfy my frustration. That's not happening either, though, apparently. Oh no, bye! Let's try it again. I'm just trying to satisfy my frustration now for the fact that I went through this effort and all I got was that. Are you gonna stay in the platform? Good. Okay. We're gonna try to climb down now. And I'm gonna try to detonate that while I'm down there. And we're gonna see it craning into space, hopefully. Or maybe stone things can't be affected by physics at all, in which case I'll be somewhat disappointed. Okay, so descending is easy. Alright, let's hope this does, does something. Oh, I didn't see it go anywhere. Dang it. My frustration is unsated. I did all of that for five arrows. No. So that's the bridge I just crossed. There was a dock way back there. Ooh, hello. Hey, guys. Another encampment. Is it worth it going after every encampment, though? Because I would imagine probably not. But it's always tempting, just in case there's something cool stashed about. So far, though, the encampments have not had unique items stashed around, though. So here's the idea. I'm gonna go grab that ramp we had a moment ago, take it across to the other pier we saw off in the distance, the one when we first walked in, and try to use that to cross the gap and get to that boat we saw. And hopefully that boat's important. Maybe it has unique loot. Maybe it's another location where we get a seed. That's what I would expect. In fact, I thought th I thought there was going to be a seed up here, and maybe there is, and maybe I've missed how to get to it. But whenever I see anything sufficiently weird, anything that looks like a landmark, I will generally assume it's going to do something like that. You know what? Before I do that, let's try what I suggested here. They do give me a torch right here, which makes me curious. Maybe I am supposed to light something on fire here. Maybe not. Well, it was worth a shot. They do totally give me a torch. That seems odd. I can't climb up there because it puts the torch out immediately. Huh. Yeah, they give you a torch and everything right here, which made me think that maybe we'd do something. Ah! Die, nature! Here we go, we're coming up on where we were earlier. It's a nice little convenient path that leads all the way back. What is that? Acorn, often found on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. That gives me no indication of how it's useful. I assume it's useful in some way, though, if it exists. But who knows. Look at this wobble. Look at this wobble. Wobble door. Alright. This will hopefully be helpful at bridging the gap. All right, careful now. Let's make it a little, probably not too much further away. Okay, that creates part of a bridge. I'm gonna need a bit more than that though, aren't I? I'm gonna make it across myself. What do we have here? Got some wood, even a cooking location. 
Neat. Oh, more wood. Huh. I'm curious. Are we supposed to use that leaf to get around over here? Huh. What if I could use that leaf as a sail? Let's find a weapon to drop so I can do this real quick. I'm gonna need this leaf and I'm, if I'm gonna even try what I'm what I'm having in mind. I grab you. Maybe I don't need you. Ah, you're made of metal though, so that's not happening. I was thinking maybe I'd put that in the water and it would float and then I could like use the leaf to push off to send it where I want to go. Probably not. So, let's see. Oh, I can. I can make ice. Oh, that'd probably make do with this whole situation. I don't, I don't need to do any, anything with the leaf, I don't think. Let's get creative here. So we'll save first, just in case. Because I don't want to have to get this door back if I can avoid it. Okay, so, hop. We will switch. We will try to use ice. They fight me over here, and I don't like that. Alright. Come on, where can I put the ice? Somewhere useful where I can reach it easily? Right here is probably going to have to do. Okay, jump on the ice. Now. Magnesis. Trying to put it somewhere where it hopefully won't fall in. Oh no, it's gone forever now. I'm sad. Huh. Alright. I'm not dead yet. But damn, that's disheartening. Oh wait, I can still get it down there. Yes. Rise, Poseidon, or something, I don't know. Jokes. I'm full of them. Yeah. Okay. Don't, I don't have the end-all be-all of camera angles here, so I'm just trying to make do at seeing what, what I do. Wait, let's try these rocks. Stop. 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 Ah. Uh, it's not stopping. It's not stopping. Alright. How about right here, then? It stopped. I can work with this. Ha ha! Ha ha! What's over here? It's a raft. I did it! Why did I do that? I don't know. Uh. I'm just gonna say this right now. This is an exceptionally bad idea. I think I can move the raft with this, with this leaf. But I think I'm just gonna go down the river and crash. Maybe even go off the waterfall or something. Oh, man. Well, let's do this. We're gonna have some fun. What? Oh, no, I'm moving. Okay, I just didn't have a perspective of where I was going for a little bit there. Alright. And you will live here with me, weird bomb. For I love you. No, that's a terrible idea. You get out of here. Yeah! I probably should just stay put, yeah. I could keep this ready. Because I can put a... Oh! Okay! No, no, no! No, no! Too close. <laughs> I was just thinking about the fact that I could... Uh, I was just testing out the fact that I can... Yeah, I can put down a... A pillar to block ourselves if I am going the wrong way, I think. But I gotta be real careful not to have it, uh... Spawn under us. And, uh, you know... Uh... Tip us over and murder us. Because that would suck. Huh. Interesting how many of these systems can all work together like this, huh? So how likely is this thing to break? Because that would suck. I'm hoping that I can just swing it around and do air, the windy stuff as long as I want to. This is kind of neat. 
I wonder if maybe I should be trying to push it up stream instead of downstream. Because this does this, this this does admittedly feel like it's just a dead end that's going to go nowhere. But it's a thing I can technically do. So so I was curious. Yeah, this is a dead end. I guess this bridge partially exists just to stop me from going in the water, huh? I mean, going off that waterfall down there, I, I would just die, presumably. Because I'm not supposed to go down there yet. But what if there's someone... River of the Dead. I don't know, maybe we'll go upslope. Maybe we'll go upslope and see how long this thing lasts me, right? This does not seem like it's gonna happen. No. I don't know if I can build a momentum in this direction. No, it's kind of... no. I'd say no. Yeah, I'm not moving, am I? No, so it, it, seems, unreal it sounds, seems unlikely that that's my intended thing to do. Alright, that, that more or less dashes that hopes. I was thinking maybe that what if you go under that waterfall with it or something. So I started there, came all the way down here. And we've done nothing but satisfy my, my curiosity. But you know what? That is enough. <laughs> Satisfying my curiosity is enough reason to do what I do, I think. Is this door back here? Did they respawn the door back here, even though this isn't where I left it? It's not, is it? That's the door I took with me. I think they spawned it back here again. Weird. Come on, get me to shore. Trusty boat. Huh. I bet you you can do something with this boat. What if you're supposed to light it on fire? Funeral pyre? Oh, please grab the ledge. There we go. Oh, you're here too. So this door just respawns over and over again, apparently. Until you can make a full bridge. Like so. Crap, how do I rotate this thing? That's a good question. No answer. <laughs> Uh, aha! That's not really a bridge. Alright, let's do something wildly reckless. I'm going to see if I can light that thing on fire. <laughs> I don't even have a good reason! This is apparently the no progress episode, but it's fine, because we're, we're playing with the game. Got all these fun little things I can screw around with. We've got the boat. I made bridges. Got into a weird tree spot. Now I'm gonna see if the boat's flammable. <laughs> I also could just use an arrow. In fact, I should use an arrow. Yeah, it's actually a way better idea. An arrow makes wakes, makes way, way more sense. Really? Aww. But my ambitions. All right. Well. Nope, not you. Changing arrows to normal normal arrow and then cancel? Good. Hip. Hip. Let's use the... I'll use a Boko Club. Alright. So, that was a bit of a moot point, I suppose. But now I want to check out Hopper Pond and Forest of Spirits. Hip. Hip, 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 hip. How close are we to that skull? Oh, it's over here. Let's go find our way there then. I'm gonna finish exploring this place before we leave. I don't. I probably won't fully, uh, fully explore every region because the map looks incredibly massive by comparison. But at the very least, I want to check out this area. I, I want to feel like I finished exploring. At the very least, the uh, starting plateau. That's like a bit of power I feel like I can just hold on to. Um, that's way... we're way higher up than I thought we were. Ooh, what's with the weird blocks? What is with the weird blocks? I feel like I should investigate that. What if it's another weird thing? I think climbing down here is the safe bet. If I climb down here, I can like climb across to those, because it seems kind of nearby. <laughs> Oop. It's a relatively fast way to get down. Yeah, those blocks. They seem important. Hip. 
Up we go. Whoa. He's really good at this, uh, this Nathan Drake climbing with the super jumps. Hi there. Oh. Well, I see what's happening here. Ah, yeah. Look at me being awesome. Bye bye. I found one again. I'm awesome. The end. What's down there? Probably flowers, actually. Awesome. All right. I accomplished something, damn it. Oh, God. Guess who didn't think they were going to make that jump? <laughs> I'm like, that looks easy. It looks like there's not even a jump to do. And then the moment I hit jump, I'm like, oh, it looks like an unfathomable chasm. I'm going to die. Turns out, didn't die. Surprise. Ooh, can I push those boulders down on the skull town place? That could be interesting. It's interesting how all of the uh, Korok seeds seem to be unique things so far. I wonder if that'll hold or if they'll reuse some of them, because that seems like it'd be a lot of work to make that many unique assets just for that, just for that one element. I'm a monster, just so we're clear. Yep. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. No, I mean, it's not that I don't know, because it's exactly what I wanted to have happen, but I still felt a little bad. I'm entitled to that much. What? Are you hissing at me, tree? No, you're not. Grab your apples, though. I thought I heard, I thought I heard a hiss. It was probably leaves rustling. Let's see, I can hop down there. What? Oh. Oh. I thought that was a giant man with dreadlocks. And I was, I was seeing a new enemy, but it's just a, a small red dude, like normal, on top of a stand. But from this angle, it looked like a single person shape. Okay. Let's just see if I can make this work. Almost. Yeah, you blow that horn, or do you not see me? There you go. Anyone left down there? Or did I sabotage you all with my awesome boulder skills? I'm gonna loot all your friends' bodies now. Oops. Wow. All their remains are blowing down the chasm. That's a sight. Anything back here? Nope. I just realized I never tried climbing on top of the other skull. Ah, for good reason, apparently. Still, I can totally access, like, these top areas. I can go in through a window if I want to. But I've just got the skeletal remains of their dead family at this point. Hey! Fire arrow times five. There we go. We've taken out both of the skull locations. Oh, wow. That's a bad place to keep your explosives, considering, you know... I exist. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does seem like we're establishing that a lot of these places that seem like they might be... They seem like they might be important, and they seem like something might happen to them, but then you get there and... kind of nothing happens. So that's slightly disappointing, but that's fine. It's just, uh, we're just learning... We're learning the rules of this open world, and... figuring out what kind of stuff is worth prioritizing, and what kind of stuff is just maybe a useful place to get stash items, and that's it. This being a good example, because this is just a pillar. Let's see, if I want to spare my climbing ability, I should do, use this tree here. So I'm going to give this another shot again, even though I, even though last time it had nothing in it. Crap. We'll give it one more chance to maybe have something in it. No, oh, that's not nice. I fell through the branch before I reached the end of it. Oh. I can't reach the top of this, can I? Now without cooking? Maybe I can. How high am I now? I'm really bad at judging distances. Mm. Ah! It looks like it might almost be the exact height. It's actually hard to, a little hard to judge. 
You keep at it, Link. I believe in you. Maybe I'll jump at the last second just in case. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Okay, so I didn't need to use that food last time. Now we know. Ten arrows, I guess. Why not? <laughs> oh! oh, he didn't grab onto it on the way down that time. And then I paid the price. Oh, I paid the price. I'm so sorry, Link. That was my fault. I did this. It was all me. Well, I got these guys. There we go. So I don't think we've been here yet, right? Hopper Pond. I think, yeah, I got my Korok seed at the at this one. So this is all places I haven't been to yet. Let's take a look around. Ooh. That stump seems like it has the potential to be interesting. Look at that big piece of meat. Oh yeah, they got the, the eyeball thing again where you have to kill them all to get it. Are you interesting? Kind of, but not... Not in an eventful way, but you can still be interesting if you want to. Oh no! He saw me coming. What will I do? Oh, I can't climb this side. Huh. I wonder if my previous successes at climbing stuff like that was some kind of accident. Ooh, there's those. There's like little. There's like little plants, like. Like hit. Ah! Crap. There's a, a. There's like a seedling in the middle of the lake. On a little island that makes me interested. How do I block? Crap. I must have not pressed it in time or something. Is this how you block? Seems like it's good. It would be how you block. Here, hit me. There we go. It is how I block. I just uh, didn't have it ready in time the first time, I guess. Okay. Give me all your stuff. Okay. Yeah, there's a seedling over there. That, that makes me a little curious. There's a bunch of logs with seedlings on them. Ah, crap! There's still someone here. I'll take that meat and I will eat it right now. My life is pain. Ow! Kick, kick, kick! Stop it! Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry. I've lost my Boko Club. My Boko Spike Club. It is... It is defeated. You have anything else? There it is. Don't miss out... Don't miss out on the loot that I earn. What do you have? Opal. Alright. Getting... We're getting crafting materials out of this. Alright, here's a question. Let's see, am I safe in this water? Yeah. It's, oh, it's not even... Oh, it's shallow. All the way across. Might as well just search for weird details, right? But I'm not seeing magnetic objects around here. What about here? Hyrule Herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Neat. Another type of healing item. Nope. Oh. Have I killed a lizard yet? No, I think I saw one at one point and didn't get it. Revenge is mine! High tail lizard. A lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed-boosting elixir. What is your deal? You're just out in the middle here. I guess with the root system it sprouts, it might create a high point around it. I just wondered if it was something I could interact with. But at the moment, I don't see much reason to think that. Oh, you weren't doing this right now? There we go. Let's try the leaf. Nope. It was worth a shot. I'm also curious about this little end point here. What if I threw a bomb in there? Whoop. Not quite. Let's try that again. <laughs> 
Really? Alright, well. I'll put, put it there on foot then. Oh, crap. Do something! Oh. It's worth a shot. Maybe there's something I could take there, but I don't I have, don't see anything anything nearby. That seems noteworthy. What's your deal? Blue nightshade, a plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night, it gives off a soft glow. Cook it to increase your health, your stealth. Neat. All right. Well, we've taken a look around. I think next episode we're going to now go off towards the primary objective of uh, what we're trying to accomplish next. But I thought it was worthwhile to do a little bit of a loop around. Otherwise, what's the what's the point of having all this land if we're not going to take a look around? And I did find one seed, so they are hiding around there. And who knows how many I'm missing around every corner around here.